Welcome to the DXS screencast for the Analysis 1 Display tab. The Analysis 1 Display tab is one of the five display tabs available to all linear asset project layouts. The other display tabs being 1 and 2 Wars Falls, Analysis 2 and Spectrum vs Channel. The Analysis 1 tab is useful to present multiple process data types at the same time and is commonly used when more advanced analysis of a particular event is required. If you do not see these tabs, then it is likely that the project layout is set to something other than Linear Asset Project Layout. The active layout can be accessed by going File and Edit Project. Under the Layout drop-down, you can see that this project already has Linear Asset Project Layout selected. If your project has something else selected, you will need to change your selection to Linear Asset Project Layout. This only alters what display options you have available and does not modify any sensor data. Now I will select OK to close the menu and return to the project. I will also change the Active Display tab to Analysis 1. Analysis 1 has three slots for different data types. The left-hand slot accepts waterfall data, that is frequency band extract data that has been produced by the FBE data generator. This is the same data type that we can use in the One Waterfall Display tab. If I expand my output folder within the dataset tree, you can see I already have some processed FBE data. I'll therefore drag in one of these datasets and drop it on the left-hand slot. The central slot accepts FFT data. This data is produced again using the FBE data generator. However, this time, the right FFT data checkbox must be selected. As before, I've already processed some of this data and we can see it here in the data tree. If I select FFT versus time, you can see that I set the start channel and end channel to be 50 to ensure that the FFT only relates to a single channel. I'll drag this data set into the central slot to display it. We can now see the waterfall on the left with the respective FFT for channel 50 in the middle. Note that the Y axis is shared across both of these plots. So now we just have the rightmost slot to populate. This slot accepts raw sensor data. As with the FFT, it is usually best to just display a single channel. Unfortunately, the only sensor data we have relates to 200 channels, and therefore we need to perform a conversion. If I move to the top of the screen, there is a Converters Tool ribbon. Inside this ribbon, there is the Sensor Data Converter. This tool is used to convert sensor data from a number of OptiSense formats into the ProdML H5 standard format. However, this tool also has a second important use in being able to extract a section of interest from a larger dataset. When I open the tool, I will first ensure that the correct dataset has been selected. In this instance, with only one sensor dataset, this is automatically pre-selected. But as I just wish to extract a single channel, I will select the Restrict Channels checkbox and set my range from channel 50 to channel 50. This matches the channel that was used in this project for the FFT. Clicking Next enables me to input a user tag. I'll call this sensor-channel50. And once done, I'll click Finish. As this is quite a short sensor data file, the processing was immediate, and this has deposited a new sensor data converter folder in my data tree. This raw sensor data file can now be dragged and dropped onto the rightmost slot, thus completing the Analysis 1 display tab. As with the FFT window in the centre, the Y time axis is common to all datasets. All of these three plots can be manipulated together with the same functionality as exists in the other display tabs. I can select the zoom tool within Home and zoom into any of the three plots, knowing that the others will follow. I can also right-click and zoom out. Again, all of the three plots will follow. Replacing any of these plots with alternatives remains quick. For example, I can drag and drop a different waterfall band onto the leftmost display panel. This is a very useful way of performing detailed analysis of any particular event. So that's all for this video, and I hope you found this overview of the Analysis 1 Display tab useful.